In this video, we are going to see how you can implement a CRUD service, a REST service, using Quarkus and Virtual Threads. The first thing you will need to do is to create a new project. That's why I'm on code.quarkus.io and I already pre-configured all project. I pre-selected a set of extensions. The first one is REST Easy Reactive Jackson. You may be surprised why I'm using a reactive extension while I want to use Virtual Threads. It's because to properly integrate virtual threads to have a lightweight and efficient integration, we actually need to be in control of the dispatch and understand what it's executed on which threads. That's why we need the reactive core. However, for you as a user, your code will be just completely transparent. Then we will use Hibernate Validator to validate our inputs. Uh, Hibernate ORM with Panache to manage our entities. And I, need, I will need a Postgre um, database. So let's generate my project. I'm going to unzip it and to import it in my IDE. The first thing I'm going to do is to switch the Maven compiler release here uh, to be 21. Virtual threads have been available since Java 19, but in Java 19 and Java 20, they were still in preview mode, meaning that you need a flag to actually access to this API. In Java 21, that API got promoted. So you, that's the only, need, the only change you need is to just use Java 21. So when I'm going to start my project, you need to be sure that you are using an OpenJDK 21, so Java 21 to run it. I'm going to start my dev mode. Oops, wrong directory. Yes, here we go. And now while it's starting my dev mode, my dev services and so on, I'm going to create a some entity, something very simple. So it's going to be an entity managed by Ibernet. I will use Panache. I will need some ID. Uh, I will use a new ID. I like your ID as IDs. Uh, let's call it ID. Okay. And something very simple. I just want the title and I just want it to be not blocked. Something super simple. So now we need our uh, HTTP endpoint, REST endpoint. So that is going to be my to-do resource. There we go. Uh, I'm going to just be on slash, that's fine. And I will implement only two methods, uh, get all the to-dos and create one. Obviously you can also extend this class to have all the CRUD operation. Um, public list of to-do. Oh. Yes, get all. List all, okay, something like this. And now uh, the creation, I need to be on a transaction because I'm going to write on um, uh, in the database. Uh, create, I will receive a to-do from uh, a JSON in my case. Uh, I need it to be valid, so Ibernet Validator is going to be sure that the title is not blank. And I will just do to-do.persist, so something very, very simple. Now you need to say to Quarkus that you want this method to be called on a virtual thread. It's not automatic because there is a few limitations to virtual threads right now, and it will take time until the Java ecosystem evolves to become more virtual thread friendly. So you go on the resource and you, can, you just use the run on virtual thread annotations, instructing Quarkus to call all the methods from that resource on virtual threads. You can also use that method at the that annotation on the method level, if you are mixing uh, methods that can run on virtual thread and some that need to run on worker thread and some reactive one. Um, before running it, I just want to do some logging to be sure that we are called on virtual thread. Get all to do's here and here. Up. Create a to do. dot uh, title. There we go. Now I will go back here. I have my dev mode and I'm just going to go and see if I have any to do. Oh, no surprise. I don't have anyone. But if I do one like record a video, no, I should have one. Yes. And as you can see here in this log is that all my methods have been called on virtual threads. Um, even if you have another one, about testing, that will be my next video. How do we test 
that we properly use virtual thread that we are not pinning, um, we see that it's still called on a virtual thread. That's all I have for you today. We are in this video, we have seen how you can implement a REST service or CRUD service using Quarkus and virtual thread. Your code is going to be very simple, synchronous and blocking. You just need one annotation and Quarkus manage the magic for you.